Oh my gosh, that's a patch of them. Don't keep moving. Go, 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 go. A grasshopper would be eaten alive by this big old dude. We found what we're looking for. Oh, they're everywhere, baby. We gotta go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Move Which way are we going? There's skeetas everywhere, y'all. Um, we learned these lessons for you, so you don't have to. Welcome to the channel of the Roving Veterans. I'm Rob. And I'm Bethany. And don't forget about our dog, the Traveling Maverick. We chose our name because we are V, and we're also both military veterans. We bought our first camper in 2020 and been full-time ever since. On this episode, we're going to hit up the Everglades National Park in Southern Florida. While this was our second trip to the Everglades, it was our first since doing YouTube. So join us for this journey as we dodge all the mosquitoes and try not to lose an entire pint of blood. We made it. To South Florida. We're gonna do what today, Rob? Everglades. Everglades National Park. National Park. We've been here before, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, it's awesome. Last time we were here, though, we were out when the sun started setting and the alligators were everywhere. So maybe we try to avoid that this time. I wonder what time it'll rain today. Yeah. All right, so walking in the dark. What to see, where to look. Um, there is a prison right outside of the Everglades. Is this just some kind of, I don't know, I don't know. So this is apparently what you don't wanna see out there. Nope. All right, we made it back to the car after the first visitor center. And the one thing that I am so happy about is that this car has air conditioner where the car we had the, the last two days did not. Cause I kind of forgot how hot it was. Um, and the fact that at the Everglades National Park, pretty much all of their restroom facilities are not AC. So glad at least the car has AC. So they are currently control burning here at the Everglades. All right, I'm just gonna throw it out there. There is no limit to the kind of animals you might find at the Everglades. Cause uh, who knows? We might see a cougar today. You're already on camera. Okay. Still putting this on the video. Okay. Which trail are we doing, dear? trail but the gumbo limbo trail sounds pretty inviting <laughs> why because it says gumbo in it yep <laughs> sounds good ah little buddy <laughs> here he goes he's gonna go under the next lily pad we got a little turtle buddy floating down there he's uh, under this lily pad Water is just so clear, y'all. It's shocking. I think the shocking part is that it looks dirty because of the color, because of the stuff in it. It looks like it you you would just be dirty water, but it's so clear. It's just the stuff on the bottom that I guess makes it look that color. But so after they do their burn, it looks like this. It's they, it's water, right? You see the water. However, the top part ends up dying and becomes a issue so they burn it off to keep it from becoming a massive issue that is not controlled here he goes oh there's another one if i get closer is he gonna move there he goes yeah look at that tree though that's a big old tree what kind of Got another little locust thingy here and i know this camera does not do it justice the phone don't but that thing is at least the size of my pinky. There's a turtle. That one's big though. This is all actually water. It just has grass growing out of it. That's just how much grass is growing in the water and it's trees and such. Pine tree island out there. <laughs> Rob named that island. Well, I'm so glad that we came on Tuesday. <laughs> and we leave tomorrow, so yeah. I guess this won't be happening. No, this visitor center is closed. Still a pretty view. And they got some benches out here sitting down, which is nice. 
Alright, so since we tried to go to the visitor center and it was closed, now we're gonna go try to go in the marina store. I can't come to the Everglades and not get stickers and postcards and such, right? So yeah. Uh, we saw manatees in this area last time we were here though, so got yeah, that was here. before we did YouTube and got no videos or anything really, so hopefully we're gonna show you some today. I guess we're about to find out. In the marina area down in the flamingo part of the park, you can actually rent kayaks and canoes. This is and an actual marina too, so you can fill your boat up if you're doing the boat thing. The boat marina when here has great selection of stickers and such and actually cheaper than the original visitor center. The postcards there were a dollar a piece. Here they were 65 cents each, so you're buying a bunch of postcards, that makes a big difference. So I can't believe it, but I found the one, the only tank top that they had left. <laughs> um, so I grabbed that one because I was lucky enough that it actually fits me. So I'm excited about that. So now you're going to see me in another shirt the rest of the day. <laughs> we're going to drive through the campground here um, just to kind of show anybody who is doing the camper thing. Uh, we flew to Miami because we're doing this at the tail end of a cruise. But... There's what? plenty of people who might actually... Look how empty this gym. is. What a gym. This place is completely abandoned, looks like. If they have power, if they have full hookups, this is awesome. So this is like a get ready, get your holding tank ready situation. If you want a shower, there's no hot water heater. Isn't it crazy to think that uh, there's bears here on the sign? It says... I know. We were black bears. Bear and alligators at the same place. <laughs> but the beach is like right there. I know. All right, so what you got in your pedestal here? You got 50 amp and you have uh, 30 amp. So, you, oh, and a regular plug, I guess, if you're just a tent camper. But some of them, Rob noticed, some of them have a water hookup and oh, some of them don't. Look, look, this look, one look. does. Ah, there's freaking bugs everywhere. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm, got, I'm ready. <laughs> Look, there's sewer and water on this one. Yeah, there's, okay, so, so this is full hookups. Ah! I need that sticker that said, I donated blood that has a mosquito on it. We saw those, okay, I'm done. Nope, nope, done with the mosquitoes. Okay, so where we're from in Tennessee, the mosquitoes typically come out around when sun starts to set. They're skeeters. Yeah, well, they're just everywhere out here, so make sure you got your bug spray absolutely ready or you're going to be like what was that thing it looks like this trail is closed this is back here at the very back of the campground but just look at that sure don't matter where you're at out here this is the wilderness and you got all the books sorry about you that <laughs> So another thing that we noticed is they are actively currently building a lodge here. Uh, it's down here in the Flamingo area, um, which is the very, very bottom area of the Everglades, the very bottom of Florida, the actual continental part of Florida, not the Keys. This is a pond that I can't pronounce, in case you were curious, that's that. Okay, so here's the bottom of Florida, technically but here's the whole shape because of the keys, whatever. So, yeah, we're pretty far down here. Rock right cheer. I know I told you at the other place that the water was super really mega clear, but not, not, yeah, not so much here. Look how gross that water looks. Ew. This is probably lots of skeeters around here, but. This water, you can't see what's under here. <laughs> Is there an alligator down there or is there just a sweet fish? You just don't know so yeah. That's probably somewhere I would steer clear of when it came to um, kayaking myself. But hey, you might be a little more gutsy than me. It's funny that they got a sign that says no fishing. This would be a super cool spot though for fishing, huh? Yeah, catch Zika virus. Now do I look like a tourist now that I got my binos? Oh, uh, you need a hat. Floppy hat. Oh, yeah, I do. Right. Too bad. You almost had it, though. Mm -hmm. You almost had it. This is a really cool spot. If so, you gotta go to this spot. What is this, first pull-off when you come through the gate? Yeah. This is pretty much first stop. 
The temperature's Super finally awesome. starting to cool down too. Super awesome. It is 6.30. The temperature's starting to cool down. And that last time we were here, when the temperature started cooling down, that's when the gators slash crocs started coming out. So. And they need that sign out here. Last time there was crocs all over this place. This dude's doing his little dance over here. Is he the boss? Is he trying to get all the ladies? <laughs> this seems like something you would see on the Discovery Channel. I'm just saying. But, don't approach him. <laughs> if you come to Florida and don't get wet, I'm impressed. Yeah, for real. Show me show me that video. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just killed that one. I don't know if that's my blood or the person before me's blood. Yeah. So there's that one. I already sweat the blood off of that one. Ooh. You got it. There's another one. There's more. Turn around. Right. Oh my gosh. That's so gross. Yeah. You got Be cautious. All yeah. That That's one. So gross. Mm -hmm. oh. Here we go. We're getting killed by all these skeeters, man. Wow. <laughs> This Whoa. thing might have seen uh, some storms in its time and some hurricanes and stuff like that. It really does look like a jungle though. Welcome to the jungle. I really like these uh, trails out in the Everglades, but I highly suggest you stay right on the middle of the trail. <laughs> And not get off because there is random holes and all kinds of stuff you do not want to get into out here. We'll keep it moving. The bugs are. Dude, you made me think something's coming at me. The bugs are. They're moving. Oh, that, that was a tree that uprooted, I believe, and all the. Hurricane. Uh, and all the. Uh, Soil has washed off of it, but the root structure remains. That's super cool. Uh, am I a nerd for that? No. Yep. Stop for too long. It's going to make you pay out here. No free rent out here. Beautiful day for a hike. It is warm and humid out here, but I mean, it's Florida. Hope, you, <laughs> hope you're ready for that. Oh, wow. Killer spot. I just can't stop long enough to take a good, take a picture. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're everywhere, baby. We gotta go. Keep moving. Which way are we going? There's skeetas everywhere, y'all. Um, look at this, though. Like, um, I was getting my camera out to do a video of just the area because... Oh my goodness, there's skeeters everywhere. They're everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it either. That's right, folks. Don't mess with her. Five at once. Oh my gosh, that's a patch of them. Don't keep moving. Go, 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 go. Trees. <laughs> wow, another cool, magical spot. I would absolutely never go in something like this, though. Not even almost. Not even close. Not in a shark cage. Not, the gators not out there. here. Thanks, but no thanks. Soft, spongy mat of algae. Okay. They don't play no games. Yeah. Good idea. Bug spray would have been a definite. I almost bought some at that one marina, but I was like, yeah, I don't want to pay that. I well, I should have paid that. <laughs> It's warm and humid. It's a 
get, it's gonna rain any second. Slap your leg. What you want? You get it. You got it. No, no. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Bug spray. We learned these lessons for you, so you don't have to. Just keep on walking. That is so cool. It's got a fern growing out of it. Okay, here's some people. We better warn them. On the mahogany hammock trail, just remember a gallon of bug spray. Yeah, you're gonna need it. All right, so we're gonna try this place. Even though that last place was swarming with mosquitoes, I just, uh, I did have some thieves spray with me <laughs> and it's got a bunch of stuff in it that um, should help keep these bugs away. So we'll see how this goes now, if it's a little easier. Look at this guy. Bald cypress. What interesting creatures. Don't you be an asshole. <coughs> I'm mad at you right now. These little guys are for real everywhere. And when I say little, I don't actually mean little. I mean, they're actually really big. Cypress trees, they are really thick at the bottom, but only when they grow in water, when they grow on dry land, like at my dad's house, they don't look anything like that. They just look different out here. A grasshopper would be eaten alive by this big old dude, for real. you to see how many holes are in here there are holes everywhere so if you want to do this well for starters i don't think many people are trying to get off the path if you're trying to get off the path here you've lost your ever living mind but there are holes like and big ones like don't be getting off the path for real or whoever makes the show naked and afraid dump them here in the in um the Everglades, they probably wouldn't even get out uh, without some kind of insane disease from all the bugs. All the bugs. Solution holes. Pause to read. Jeez, the mosquitoes Man, are bad. bad. <laughs> we scared him. He's going back in the water. He's saying, nope, not, not today. I ain't talking to these humans. So the Pineland Walking Trail is about seven miles from the entrance, and um, that one, if you don't want to stop, you're not going to miss anything much. It is pretty much a very overgrown trail. That's one that if you don't, if you're on limited time, easily skip that one. It's an overgrown trail, pretty much. Would you disagree? Rob uh, has blisters on his feet pretty bad right now. His uh, blister band-aid thing that we bought, yeah, it's already worn through. So, I offered to change shoes with him. But he decided he wanted to try to go barefoot instead. All natural. Yeah, he didn't like that option either. So, um, here we go. In the pan uh, picnic area, apparently you should not camp here though. But we did see a sign that showed bears on it so um <laughs> i think it's so bizarre to just think that alligators and bears are in the same place you can see the smoke from their controlled burn that they're doing keep your pets on a leash so the alligators and snakes don't eat them <laughs> no swimming i wonder what that is this new guy he's just eating his bugs, I guess. I guess he got tired of fish. He literally just landed on a lily pad. I guess he got him something. I wonder if he runs away if we get closer. Yep. It's trying to eat that flower thing, it looks like. It's trying to eat the, the flower from the lily pad. I'm trying to get a view back in. I might have spotted the first green lizard I've seen out here, which is crazy because 
Oh, you found what we're looking for. Rob did anyway. He spotted it. Was, did it pop its head up since we've been standing there? Or is it, has it been in there the whole time? Come over here and, and take a picture of this. We've been out here looking for them. There's the up. tail. There's the Oh, there really he goes. Really looking hard. There he goes, and just like that. And right when if you, you give really up. pay attention, you can see his tail in there, but I don't know. You can see the bubbles. I found another turtle. I also saw some fish. You scaring him away. Don't scare him away. Well, we saw only one gator, but there's a snake on the road now, and um, we got a lizard here, we got a snake there, another lizard here. I don't know if I signed up for all this. He's slithering across the road, though. I don't know if I signed up for all this. I don't know what kind of snake he is, but... I feel like I'm walking into a Jurassic world. He's not making any <laughs> rattling noises, so maybe that's a good sign. Well, he's a fast one. He went. There he's gone. So this is that gumbo limbo tree. The bark is interesting for sure. This one, though. I couldn't tell you why they spray painted it orange, but... It's the weirdest feeling bark. We want to do one of the ranger led programs at the first place that you come in the park they've got one that walks through at 10 30 or you just sit there and talk to him at 1 30. Rob told me to pretend like I'm going to run at him, but there is not a way on this planet I would. Mm-mm. Nope. That's scary. That is legit a real, real one in the Everglades. I'm kind of scared to be this close to it, but it's kind of cool. There were no alligators anywhere. We were told, hey, go here if you want to see alligators. Uh, alligators, crocodiles, whatever. I don't really know the difference. I know one's salt water, one is fresh water. But there were none anywhere. We walked and walked and walked and saw none. Then, of course, we were heading back to go to the car and they were everywhere. It was a little bit scary, but it was also getting sunset. So what do you do? You either stay out there with them all night or you figure out a way to go back to the car. Obviously, we had to figure out a way to go back to the car, but we made it. Got a beautiful sunset here at the Everglades. Now, some of those colors are coming from the controlled burn that they are currently doing. They're burning a lot. I've actually been shocked at how much they're burning. But at the same time, I've never watched a controlled burn before. This is the first time I've seen one. What a beautiful sunset, though. Oh, there's some more. They got a lot of fires going out here right now. But... This is the time for them to do it, I would say, because this is off season. So, if you're gonna do it, best time to do it is when there's not a lot of people around, because they did warn us when we started going in that area that they're burning, which I already knew because I looked it all up, but yeah. Anyway, very interesting day. Oh, so, when you leave the, um, the Everglades, there's also an alligator yeah. farm that way. And if, I guess they put the prison in a good spot because at least now they don't have to worry about the inmates escaping as much. <laughs> I guess if you're going to have a prison somewhere, putting it right outside the Everglades ain't a bad idea. So, yeah, as you see, we've been to the Everglades twice. Once was pre-YouTube, so those videos are at the very end. Really bad quality, but 
It was before we knew what we were doing. Pretty much, if there's something you for sure want to see while you're in the Everglades, you need to look beforehand and see if it's going to be actively happening while you are there. Like the alligators. They were nowhere to be found our second trip, but were everywhere the first trip. Know that South Florida is very humid, so if you do not like humidity, you're probably not going to just love the Everglades, but definitely worth it if you can handle the heat and humidity. Well, anyway, y'all, if full-time RV living, cruises, flying here and there, just seeing a lot of adventures while traveling sounds like something you would like to see more of, make sure you hit our subscribe button and check out our channel. Until next time.